Hey everybody and welcome to the very first episode of Bible Time with Natalie. Um, today we're going to talk about living out loud. What does that mean? Better yet, how do we do it? To help, hopefully help. I brought an object lesson with me. On this piece of paper I have my name written four different times. The first time I wrote it with my pencil. The second time I wrote it with my favorite pen. The third time I wrote it with my favorite kind of crayons. And the fourth time I wrote it with my trusty Sharpie. Me and the Sharpie have been through a lot together. And here's the question though. Which one of these can you see the best? Which one shows up more than any other? Well, it doesn't take long to figure out that my Sharpie <laughs> is the best one. It's loud. I mean, you, it's really easy to see it. Bam. It's amazing. And kind of, it reminded me of a scripture in Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. I have been crucified with Christ and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Galatians 2, 20, NIV. What Paul's talking about there is living out loud for Jesus. And Paul is a fantastic example of someone who lived out loud. Because we know that he wrote a good chunk of the New Testament. He was a church planner. That means he started churches where other people hadn't. Which is pretty incredible and very important. And so he lived his life loud. He left a permanent mark on the world. Because the church... We are a good portion of what we are because of the way he taught and what he taught in the New Testament, which is incredible. Webster's Dictionary says that being living is the state of being alive. It also means active, thriving, strong, and glowing. And when I read that, I thought, oh, that's how we're supposed to be as Christians. We're supposed to be light. We should be glowing for Jesus. Living out loud doesn't mean that you have to be really loud and yelling all the time. In fact, that's probably not the best idea. But what it means is you're just real. You're a real person. You're a real Christian. You let the love of Jesus that's on the inside of you flow out. Now, you might think, I don't know if I can do that. Well, I'll give you some ideas that might help when you're at school this week. First of all, you could be the nice kid to the new kid. Because schools are just starting back up. People are changing schools. They're changing grades. There's a lot of new faces. And you could be the person who's just nice. That says, hey, how are you? Tell them your name. Maybe offer to show them around. Maybe sit with somebody at lunch that doesn't always have people to sit with. Maybe just be friends with the kid that doesn't have a lot of friends. Maybe. Just maybe God can use you to show them how to live out loud. Maybe God's calling you to reach them but I hope this week that you make that choice to live loud that again that does not mean yelling <laughs> that means being real because in a world of counterfeits we can be the real thing I hope you've enjoyed this short episode of Bible time with Natalie and I hope you come back next week because you never know what we're gonna talk about but I hope you have a great week at school and